Well, the Olympic torch has finally arrived back to the West Midlands. That's because it was designed in Coventry and made in Tisley in Birmingham. It's really exciting to have it back here in the West Midlands. It's starting here in Bewdley. There's loads of people already out waiting to see it as it comes down. It's going to be getting onto the Seven Valley Railway and then it will be going past West Midlands Safari Park where it will be stopping to have a look at the elephants. Yeah, it's a nice atmosphere that obviously everyone gets to be involved even if they haven't got tickets to go and see the games. They still get to get the atmosphere and be involved. Well, the train's arrived with a torch. Here come the elephants to greet it. It's a, quite a spectacle, it's something that you wouldn't normally see every day and it certainly just brings to life this whole journey that the torch is going to make around the country and it really just showcases what we do have here in the West Midlands. Fantastic to watch. The torch is now going to continue its next journey. It will carry on to Kidderminster, where it will go through the town there. It will then follow on to Droitwich and end up in Worcester this evening for lots of celebrations. It's been months in the planning and making and rehearsing, but it worked. Brilliant. And to get the elephants to do the waving of the flag? Yeah, that was the icing on the cake, really, wasn't it? Yeah, um, it, it really did look spectacular. Well, this certainly has been a fantastic day. The first leg of the Olympic torch coming here to the West Midlands stopped off in Bewdley. It stopped off here at the West Midlands Safari Park on the Seven Valley Railway with these gorgeous animals waving the Union Jack flag at them. It's carried on now, Kidderminster first, then Droitwich, and then it finishes in Worcester this evening for celebrations. It will carry on across the country. It will come back in again, Birmingham and Coventry, and it's certainly brought a lot of people together, and that's exactly what the Olympics is all about.